All right, this video will show setting up a Hacks development environment inside IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, we'll also show how to debug a Hacks application. Uh, so start by installing the Hacks plugin. Uh, you can get to it through this menu here. Uh, do a search for Hacks. You'll see Hacks support. Uh, the first time you come in here, I think there'll be a message that says, um, you know, just search repositories, click that, and uh, select Hacks support. Uh, install, and you'll have to restart IntelliJ for the changes to take effect. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to say OK. <clears throat> there are a couple other dependencies that you need um, to debug a Hacks application. One is the Flash Debug Player. Uh, so just do a Google search for Flash Debug Player. You can get to it through the Adobe Flash Player Debug Downloads page. Um, Come in here, you know, find your operating system. I'm on Macintosh. You want the projector content debugger. So select that. It will bring down a, a DMG disk image. Um, you just open that, run the installer, and you'll have Flash uh, Debug Player installed. You'll also need the Adobe Air SDK. I'll just do a Google search for that. Go to the download Adobe Air SDK page. Uh, and again, choose your platform. This disk image is... Um, you know, just files um, that you just drop onto your file system somewhere. So you'll know, create um, like an SDK folder on your file system and move the contents of this DMG onto your file system. So with those installed, uh, we can now create an app. So I'll enter my dev folder. I'll do uh, OpenFL create project my app, which will scaffold an application. Uh, go ahead and open that application in IntelliJ. I'll go to my dev folder, select the My App that I just created. And here it is. So now to set up the Hacks environment, uh, go to File, Project Structure. And uh, there'll be a couple of things you have to do, especially on the first time. Uh, you'll notice I have no project SDKs here. So my project settings, there's, there's three things that we'll need to configure, the project, modules, and libraries. Starting with the project, um, let's just create a new Hacks Toolkit. And uh, you do a Shift Command G to go to folder and you want user local lib hacks, or <clears throat> if you installed hacks from a different location, go there. So here we go. Let me just select this. Um, and there we go. We have hacks. I uh, have uh, version 3.4. So that's set up. Go into the modules. Uh, IntelliJ creates this default module for you. We don't want that, just delete that. I'll select it, hit the minus sign to remove it. Hit the plus sign to add a new module. And we'll create a hacks module. Say next. Select our project SDK. Say next. And um, we'll just do this. So our module name, my app. And then we have our path set up to the my app. Finish that. And so now we have uh, our, our sources set up. IntelliJ always creates this uh, SRC for source folder, whereas Hacks prefers this uh, source convention. So let's go ahead and select source and, and mark it as sources. Uh, we can get rid of this source folder here. Dependencies, we have Hacks, uh, but we'll want OpenFL. So let's go into the libraries and let's add Hacks library. Let's again do that shift command G and go to user local lib hacks. Go inside the, the lib folder and we'll find our OpenFL library there and select a version. Now here I have version 491. And we'll open that. And you want both the library classes and library sources. Uh, shift click, select them both, say OK. And they'll be automatically added to our module. So the, the My App module that we're or in the process of creating. We'll automatically add that for us. So if we go back to modules and dependencies, now we see that we have the open uh, FL uh, version 491 here as well. Finally, we go to the Hacks tab, and uh, let's select open FL. We can choose a target. Uh, for the debugger, only Flash and uh, the C++ targets function with debugging. So let's leave it on Flash. There's nothing that we'll have to set up. Um, really just one time, but you'll uh, have to continue to select this. Um, we want to add a Flex Air SDK. And so um, you know, here I just downloaded um, the Adobe Air SDK. 
So here we go. Um, yeah, that was a DMG, just drag the contents out to the file system, select that. So there is our error SDK. I've noticed that this OpenFL uh, project XML it's, uh, never wants to open the first time. So let's just say OK to that. We'll just go back. We'll do file project structure again. Right, I mean, we're, we're on our module, my app, hacks. Right, just come back in here and uh, select the project XML. Right, so my app, project XML, open that. And our environment is now set up. Let's delete this uh, source artifact that IntelliJ puts in for us. Get rid of that. Go into our source. Here is our main hex file. Uh, we can auto format. Let's clean this up a little bit. And um, so here, you know, we can say um, we're creating a rectangle and well, here we can see that we have uh, uh, I know, autocomplete and as well it's finding the imports so here I want rectangle from the OpenFL uh, geometry package and when I select that you'll notice the import is automatically added. Let's complete this out, new rectangle and uh, the autocomplete pretty good. Um, now I'm looking at properties of the rectangle. So here we've got width, I'll say 100. Um, here is our height at 50. And then I'll just trace that out. So to debug, I'll set a breakpoint there. I have to create a new configuration. Uh, so select this and edit configurations. And we're going to add a new hacks application. And give it a name and select the module. Uh, our module is uh, this my app. Find that. And now we can come in and hit the debug button. And here we go. We've been uh, we're in the flash debug player, and our breakpoint has been caught. So you know you've got um, you know your your stack, and so here we can see um, you know our, our, our this instance um, uh, rectangle is not yet defined. So we can uh, step over here. Our rect has just been instantiated, and you'll notice uh, uh, as as proper as uh, Instances are updated there. They're, they receive this blue color. So let's open this up. All of our values are zero. Let's step over the correct width, and we can see our, our width property has been updated. Next will be height. There we go, height at 50. And then finally, we'll just trace that out. We'll look at the console, and there it is. And we'll continue. Hacks, plugin in IntelliJ.